everyone, Maya here from My Storybook and happy June. June is also Pride Month, which means a time for people to be proud of their sexuality, proud of who they love, proud of their identity, proud of who they are. So it's a great month for celebrating you and your own identity. We especially take some time to recognize and celebrate the community, the LGBTQ community, standing for lesbian, gay, trans, bisexual, queer community, people who love in all different ways and people who identify in many different ways as well. So we have someone that we are going to learn about today in a biography book. A biography book is a book about a real person's life. And we are going to be reading about RuPaul today. So RuPaul is a famous person who is famous for drag. And when you perform drag, that means that you dress up in like these fancy clothing, you wear lots of makeup and you do this great performance. Usually it's a man dressing up and wearing women's clothing and wearing some makeup and doing this fun dance or singing. So we're going to learn about RuPaul and how he used his clothing and his performing in different ways to express himself and share who he is with the world. All right, my friends, double thumbs up if you're ready to get started. Excellent, let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is RuPaul. So RuPaul is the name of this person here. This is part of the Little People Big Dreams series, which is this incredible series of books where they share about different scientists, artists, people who helped make a big difference in the world, and they share their biographies about these people. So we're gonna learn about RuPaul. This book was written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vagara, and it's illustrated by Wednesday Holmes. So the author does what part of the story? <coughs> Writes all the words, and the illustrator draws the pictures. If I take a look at the cover here, I see RuPaul, and what do you notice about him? And looks like he's holding a mirror. What do you notice going on? Right. Ooh, I love his jacket, this light yellow with flowers. I'm also wearing a yellow jacket. I'd love to have one with flowers like him. And when I notice that he's looking in the mirror, what do you notice about his reflection? <laughs> Looks like there's a woman reflected back. Look, she has like long blonde hair. She has some makeup on, curly eyelashes, flowers in her hair. Hmm, so when he's looking in the mirror, he sees looking back at him, this woman, this beautiful woman all dressed up. I wonder what that is about, huh? What do you think? Well, let's read and find out. All right, well, here's our title page. It has the title of our book, RuPaul, our author and illustrator, and our publisher down here, Quarto Kids. All right, let's learn all about RuPaul. When little Ru was about to be born, a fortune teller told his mom that her son would one day be famous. Wow, if a fortune teller, someone who can see the future is telling mom your son's going to be famous. Growing up in San Diego, oh, San Diego's in California. I actually live in San Diego. With his mother and three sisters, it was only a matter of time before he figured out how. How is he going to be famous? Hmm. So I see Rue here. This must be Rue and his three sisters. <gasps> what do you notice about Rue? <laughs> Looks like he's playing dress up, right? He's got, ooh, look at his beautiful earrings he's wearing. One day, his sister Renetta laid out a blanket in the backyard, took out some cookies from a paper bag, and asked him to enjoy the most fabulous picnic. Rue realized we all can create magic if we try. So he's like, wow, look at this magical picnic sister created. Ooh, what do you see in their picnic? <coughs> Lots of cookies and sweets. How fun. I love to picnic too. And this one looks like Ruth. That must be Sister Renata. Ooh, what do you notice about Ruth's outfit? <coughs> he's got this nice flower hat on. Ooh, I also love his earrings here. Ooh, look at those pretty rainbow colors. Playing dress up was Ruth's favorite game. And that is where he channeled his magic. Do you like to play dress up, my friends? <laughs> What's your favorite dress up outfit? Describe it to me. <laughs> Fabulous. Look at his outfit. Ooh, very fashionable with that lunchbox purse. So he does magic through dress up. But back in real life, he felt like a bit of an outsider. There were rules about how boys and girls should look, and he didn't seem to fit in. Why do you think he feels like an outsider? How come he doesn't fit in? What's so different that makes him feel like he doesn't fit in? 
right? Usually boys don't wear dresses or earrings, right? What do boys usually wear? Usually, but I mean, anyone can wear whatever they want, right? But they, the classmates, were like, hmm, that's different. It was not school, but his mom who taught him his most important lesson. Do what feels right for you, my friends, and love yourself for who you are. Rue promised he would never stop doing all the things that made him happy. That is an excellent lesson, my friends. Do what feels right to you and do what makes you happy. Be it yourself and love yourself. So if you're doing something and someone's making fun of you, well, if it makes you happy and it's what you want to do, my friends, then stay true to yourself. Rue likes to dress up, so he's going to do what makes him happy. And I'll let other people tell him not to, right? Rue was kicked out of high school and moved to Atlanta to study performing arts. Playing with his first punk band, he mixed a prom dress with army boots on stage. Everybody wondered if he was a boy or a girl. Why do you think they wondered if he was a boy or a girl? Why might they be confused? Maybe he looked like a boy, but then he was wearing girls' clothes, so they were like, hmm. He was 21 when he moved to New York with his friend Lady Bunny. Wearing a wig and a pair of heels, they showed up at every single party. They were the most fabulous drag queens in the Lower East Side in New York. Oh, do you see them? Where's Rue? Do you see him? Looks like he's here. Got his earrings on right. Ooh, look at his nice outfit. So drag queen, my friends, is someone who is a man and dresses up in women's clothing. Again, lots of makeup, loves to perform or dance and look fabulous. So he and his friend were the best fabulous drag queens there. Look at how fun that looks. But drag was not only about having fun and dressing up. For Rue, it was a way to express himself as an artist. It's a way for him to share his passion and creativity. He mixed a spoonful of everything he loved and admired and put his heart into becoming the woman of his dreams. Ooh. So he uses his creativity to create and design an outfit and a style and a look that helps represent who he is. Ooh, this reminds me of the cover, right, of him looking in the mirror. On and off stage, Rue had found his true groove. She felt as comfortable in high heels as he did wearing his favorite pair of slippers. So he has two identities, two people he feels comfortable being when he's a drag queen wearing his high heels and when he is himself wearing his slippers. It was time to share his joy and meet someone special, his husband, George's. So he was in love with George's. Dressed as a supermodel on the catwalk, Rue released a song that was an instant success all around the world. So he also does music, is dressed up as a supermodel. Soon he was asked to be the first drag queen ever to star in a makeup advertisement. And he nailed it. That means he did amazing. He was the first drag queen to be asked to do a makeup commercial. Because makeup is usually for who, boys or girls? Usually for girls, but he was a man and dressing up as a woman. And because drag queens love to wear lots of makeup, they wanted him to come inspire people to wear their makeup since he did it so well, right? My friends, anyone can wear makeup. Boys, girls, either one. Whatever makes you feel happy, do it. Maybe you want to wear makeup when you grow up. Hmm. Then Rue even had his own TV and radio show, and he shared the stage with some of the most amazing artists of all times. He even lip synced next to his most beloved artist, Diana Ross, a famous singer, celebrating self-love and diversity. So diversity means differences, everybody's unique, celebrating loving yourself and being different. What is something that you love about yourself? <laughs> And what makes you unique? Something different about you that's maybe different than other people? Right. You should celebrate those things about loving yourself and being different and unique. All of his dreams had come true, so Ruth decided to help others achieve theirs by finding America's next drag superstar. Anyone who had the courage to break free and follow their heart was welcome to the family. So the courage to break free and follow their heart. So he's going to do this new show where he's going to encourage others to express themselves if they feel like being a drag queen, dressing up, following their heart. He's going to support you and wants you to be happy and true to you too.
Wow, what a kind thing to do to help others also have the same happiness that he feels sharing himself. Rue's show became an inspiration for thousands of lonely kids who felt that they had finally found their people. And what's more important, a fabulous way to celebrate who they were and what they liked. So there are other kids out there who maybe felt like Rue, like, hmm, I also want to be able to dress how I want to and express myself and just be me without people making fun of me for being maybe a little different. And Rue inspired them to follow their heart. Is there ever a time, my friends, when you felt different or someone maybe teased you for doing something differently or wearing something different? How did that make you feel? <laughs> Well, I hope you know that there are people out there who want you to be happy and want you to be you just the way you are, just like RuPaul. There are people rooting for you to just stay true to yourself and do what makes you feel good on the inside. So look at all these friends now can watch his show and feel good about themselves and feel like they should be free to share who they are too. Up here it says, love yourself. By sharing with the world the beauty of drag, little Ru gave us valuable tips to make the most out of life. Don't ever think we are born to just fit in a box. We are born to stand out. And what do you notice about all these friends here? Look at their amazing outfits, right? They're all unique. They have different colored hair, like wearing bunny ears, different patterns and colors, mixing heels and dresses and pants. There are all these different sorts of things that they are wearing, right? And my friends, just like he says, don't try to fit in a box and be who someone wants you to be. Stand out. That's what we're born to do, to stand out, be ourselves, and show the world who you really are. And how do they feel when they feel like they can stand out and be free? Look how happy they are, right? Big smiles. Even the sun is smiling. Oh, see, and my friends, and what's really cool about this book is it has some pictures of RuPaul in real life, and it tells us a little bit more about his life if you want to pause and zoom in and have someone help read it to you, but here are some pictures of him, him, and then dressed up as a drag queen in his makeup and his outfit, beautiful, right? See, and what an inspiring story, my friends. RuPaul is such a fun person and a motivating person. He inspires me to just feel free to be me and wear what I want, wear what makes me feel good and show the world who I really am. The people who really love you will accept you and encourage you to be true to you. So my friends, what was one of your favorite parts of this story? Right? Well, RuPaul wore so many cool outfits in this book. My friends, what's your favorite outfit? Something that you wear that makes you feel really good about yourself. That sounds amazing. All right, my friends. Well, I have a fun craft up on the blog where you will get to share about what makes you unique and fabulous, some of your favorite things to do and wear as well to encourage you to share your true self with the world, just like RuPaul does. So if you're curious to check out that craft, be sure to click on the link down below to my blog where I'll have the craft template and all the sample pictures and directions and downloadable templates for you. And my friends, if you do do those crafts or want to reach out to me and share some of your own stories or what makes you feel good about yourself, please reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, social media links. All of those can be found down there below. I love hearing from all of you. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of today's read aloud. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my Starbuck YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope that you have a wonderful June. I hope you're having a great summer. And until next time, my friends, happy reading.